Well, today we're going to cover how to identify insects, but just a reminder for our viewers at home, you can't identify or learn how to identify everything in just a few minutes. There's a lot of insects out there. In fact, there's over a million insects identified in the world right now and somewhere north of 90,000 in the U.S. and Canada. So there's some helpful tips that we can cover to help you go through that. The first one is find some identification guides that you're comfortable with that have uh, a scope that you're looking for. If you're someone who does a lot of gardening with trees and shrubs, target a book that covers trees and shrub pests. Also, there's a lot of general insect books out there that if you're just curious about a lot of what you're finding, those work really well too. And just remember for your IPM, or Integrated Pest Management, identification is the very first step for your pest management. Now you can also go through, if you know what you're gonna grow, let's say you're gonna grow some kind of squash, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of squash it is, you're probably going to battle squash bugs and squash vine borer. So it'd be a good idea to do some background research ahead of that so you know what to expect, when to expect it, and the signs of what you're looking for. Other things you can look for uh, is just teaching yourself the basic kinds of insects. Beetles are a prime example. We've got those hard, uh, hardened front wings that are called elytra. They have chewing mouth parts. Uh, so that's kind of the, the two big ones we're looking for on those if you're looking at the adults. Many people are familiar with the butterflies and moths. That's another group of insects. Then we have our true bugs, which tend to be a lot of our garden and home pests. Uh, we see a lot of those. Uh, looking for that triangle on the back of those insects. Also, uh, one of the things we get a lot of questions on are things like bees and ants and wasps and things that fall into that category. There's a lot of uh, ones that don't have that constricted waist that we tell you to look for. Those are our sawflies. So learning those are gonna be a little bit different than learning an ant or a wasp that's gonna have that constricted waist for you. Things like that are, are what we're looking for. And the big thing, if you're looking at this, you gotta have attention to detail. I know there are some apps out there that will identify from a photo. Those work fairly well for our common stuff. What it all comes down to is you being prepared and planning ahead for the pests that you're gonna be dealing with or the beneficial insects that you're dealing with. Learn those identification characteristics, those life cycles ahead of time, so that you can prepare, be prepared when we have an issue or something that comes up in the garden.